Hey everyone, I am Carissa Ray, broker at Coastal Legacy Realty Group here in Palos Verdes, and I want to talk with you a little bit about the PV market update for the month of August. And there have been so many questions and headlines talking about what's happening in the market with you know volatile interest rates, a possible wave of foreclosures. So what's actually happening here at a local level? Because obviously what's happening on a national level might be very different. Now, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I'm releasing new videos about the South Bay and Palos Verdes real estate. And if you hit the bell, then you'll be the first to hear about it when I release new videos each week talking about our local housing market. Now, let's go ahead and dive in. These are four statistics that I have been following month over month, and they help to give me an idea of what's happening on a local level so that I can advise you, my clients, and anyone who's looking to maybe move to the area or relocate out of the area. So good statistics for either one, buyers or sellers. Now, the first thing is median sales price. Now, I am looking at all of PV, so Palos Verdes Estates, Rolling Hills, Rolling Hills Estates, and Rancho Palos Verdes. Now, median sales price for the month of August was $1,815,000. What is really interesting about this statistic is if we go back to August one year ago, the median sales price was 1825000 so a difference of $10,000. So the PV market is pretty much the same when you look at the median sales price year over year, which is crazy considering the market that we had a year ago. Now, if we go back last month, we did see a decline since then. Uh, median sales price then was two million one hundred seventy-five thousand, and the highest we saw this year was two million three hundred thousand. So the housing median sales price uh, definitely peaked, and now we're kind of you know I would say cruising along right now. Now the second thing to look at is average days on market, which show us where, shows us where buyer demand is at. Now, for the month of August, we had twenty-five. July, twenty-four days on market. This is super interesting because when we go back one year, it was 23 days on market. So, so far, these two statistics are showing me that our market here in Palos Verdes is, you know, kind of staying pretty consistent. We're not seeing a ton of decline, a ton of incline like other parts of the country or even the state are seeing. Um, I think it's kind of a good thing in my opinion. It's nice and like even, right? The third thing is list to sales price. So did the home sell for more or less than list price? For the month of August, sales price was 10% lower than list price. And this is interesting because the month of July, sales price was actually slightly higher than list price. However, you know, we're not seeing a huge decline, not a huge drop off, which is always the concern in housing. Now, this is great for you as a seller, meaning, you know, for the most part, hopefully your equity is holding pretty strong. And buyers, you know, there are still some really great opportunities. You can possibly get a home for below list price. Now, and the fourth thing that I wanna look at is current inventory. So how many homes are for sale in the market right now? Month of August, there were 186. This is a slight decline from July when there were 205. However, if we go back a year ago, 207 last August. So again, in summary, it seems that the Palos Verdes home uh, market is it's staying pretty consistent. There's no major swings one way or another. So this is really great for the most part, in my opinion. You know, you don't really wanna see any sharp declines or inclines that makes it a little too volatile. So this is our August market update for Palos Verdes. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you wanna talk about your personal housing market goals, please feel free to reach out. I'm always happy just to be a resource and answer any questions that you have. I have all of my contact info linked below, and you can also always text me on my cell phone, which is 310-905-5774. And again, I'm Carissa Wright, and thank you so much for checking out my August PV market update, and I will have September out to you very, very soon, which it'll be very interesting to see what happens as we move back into fall, uh, school starting, and let's see what happens. Thanks.